Hi all folks, this is Max from hx4g hacks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to get free Wi-Fi tethering without paying for it. Um, we're going to use the Android Wi-Fi tether, but I've made it easier for you. So I made this Atrix uh, 4G dash Wi-Fi tether dot zip. Okay. Actually, let me name, rename it. Let's just name it uh, Atrix 4G Wi-Fi tether dot zip. I'll have links on where you can download it. So download that file and use your favorite unzipper and extract it. And uh, after you extract it, move this whole folder, the Atrix 4G Wi-Fi tether. We're gonna just use uh, we're gonna use right click and we're gonna we're gonna cut it. And go to your root directory, probably like C drive, and right click and paste. And then we're gonna open up a command prompt. Did you get all that? Yeah, okay. And command prompt. And let me zoom in here. And uh, we're going to go install this APK. Basically what we're doing is using ADB to install uh, the APK file manually because you uh, Motorola Atrix 4G doesn't let you install it unlike other Android phones. So go CD slash Atrix 4G dash Wi-Fi tether like that. And then we're going to go ADB install and uh, what was that file called? Uh, wireless tether wireless tether uh, to underscore dash like that and then enter and oh yeah make sure your phone's connected to your computer and you should get a success right and make sure it's also in a USB debugging mode if you didn't, don't know how to do that go to settings applications uh, development and then make sure that's on otherwise you, you won't get that success so we're gonna go here simply let me zoom in here sorry and uh, go here go go use free Wi-Fi why do we have to pay twice you know I oh, know okay and you'll get this error no access control but it doesn't matter your your Android will st uh, still work so we're gonna have it uh, Let's change the SSID so I can prove it to you it's working. Android Tether uh, My Atrix. Yep. Let's just call it Atrix Free. Like that. And then I'm just gonna I'm not gonna turn on the Wi-Fi encryption for now, it's just to show you quickly. And then I'm gonna start tethering. Alright. And just hit allow. So now it's tethering, so let me prove it to you. Go to go back to my computer and uh, and I'll show you. Um, this is I'm actually connected via LAN, but I'm gonna disable it. Disable and I'm gonna enable my wireless, okay? And then I'm gonna open up my wireless uh, there. And see our Atrix free there. And we're going to connect. And uh, it's going to ask you for, oops, this thing to say it's public. All right, and we're all good to go. We're connected. So I'm going to go to Google. Google. And it should pop up and I type. It works! So, let me just give you a, a speed test real quick. See how fast it is. Right now I'm getting three bars, so it should be pretty good. This is running off my Atrix. I, I didn't pay for it, and it, you know, it's actually legal because uh, Congress recently passed a law, like last year, that you know, it's you can do whatever you want with your phone, you know. AT, AT&T can do whatever they want and try to block you, but you know, and there's another method out there that you can use for the web top. Um, I haven't tried this one with the web top. Okay, I'm not going to do the speed delivery. My, my AT&T 4G kind of really slow here. But you can see that it's working. So that's how you get free Wi-Fi tethering without paying for anything. You know, how cool is that, right? Let me actually try the web top. Oh, you know what? 
I don't know. Well, that's fine. That's it. So that's how you install the Wi-Fi tether. So see y'all later. Go enjoy. I'll post this on XDA.